We're going to Porto. Hey guys, so Heather and I are currently in Porto. Just landed, had an amazing experience. You know, just going to airport stuff. Very standard. I'm so exhausted. I'm so sleepy. I think I've had a cumulative like six hours of sleep in the last couple days. So Porto's airport installed these new self-scan passport checkers. I've probably seen it nearly every modern airport these days, except the issue with Porto's was that the software that they used was so awful that Every single person had to go through it multiple times. Most of them were broken, and the ones that were working weren't really working. And even with a security guard to help us, it just was not working at all. So hopefully they fix these bugs because Porto should hypothetically have a good aero Porto for pass Porto control. Okay, sorry. Why did the green man get ghosted? Um, he was left on red. Um, that. No. Ted and I have just stopped by uh, this little brunch place we found called Del Norte in Porto from the Hungry Bikers, I believe it's called. I, I usually just go for a standard English breakfast, but I wanted to try something different and something that scares me. And today's scary thing is salty waffles. I only want sweet waffles, but these waffles have an egg on them and some sort of that, salmon. What'd you get, Heather? Just French toast? Well, it's got a port sauce. That is a very French, fancy French toast. And one of the best smoothies I've had. In the We're still very hungry, so we went to a nearby place called Cheesecake. Say Cheesecake and Co. And we did say Cheesecake. And we said Co. That's a, it's a nice vibe as well. Dig in, Heath. I know, it's just, I was taking this photo. Hopefully it's a good photo. Don't know. But that is a nice looking salted caramel cheesecake. Right? You know, to be honest, me from the future, in the past, I would have like had some nice shots walking through this really lovely hostel co-living space, uh, showing off this, this lovely room. It's a really nice place. I, I really like this. Uh, really inexpensive. I like staying at hostels. And we actually have an individual room in the hostel. And the, even the walk up here, it's just really nice. Nice space, not lots of things to do. But... The lack of sleep, uh, I just get really weird, and I, I feel like my brain goes mood swingy really fast from like, oh, I'm traveling, to like the most depressed thoughts and self-hating thoughts that can I can have. And then you just go back and forth. and then it, But it'll be like so fast that it'll hit me, and then I'll be like, wait, what was that? What was that? And I'll be like, oh, nothing. Just you're awful. So I just took a nap uh, for like an hour and a half. Uh, I feel a little bit better. Hopefully after a full night's sleep, I will feel even better. And I can explore Portugal. I'm realizing that I'm trying to just do what I used to do. This is more of a video blog journal entry, you know, for myself. This is what's going on in my life right now. I'm going to have a great day exploring Porto tomorrow. Also, I'm very close to, like, I'm currently, you know, working out a lot to be able to carry this big camera. But it's so heavy. And I might just go back to having a pocket camera for all my vlogs. Just because it would be easier for me to, like, vlog. Just to, just to do the thing that I want to do. Uh, I use this for stuff in the studio. And I still love using these cameras for photography, but for video, I feel like there's so much more in the brain that needs to take place to shoot video with, with these cameras. I also had to switch arm because my arm got tired. <laughs> um, as opposed to like before, where I would just pull out the camera and turn it on and hit record, which was easy pie. Now I have to like, all right, pull the camera out of my backpack, set it all up, all right, mess with the settings, all right, so dial it in, make sure it's not overexposed, all right, white balance lock, and right there, good to go. So many steps. There's such a mental bit. So it prevents me from sharing uh, stuff with you slash myself. Cause I, I do like watching these over just to see where I've been and stuff. Which means I make less content, which means I get to go on fewer opportunities. So journal entry here, gonna start working on that. Probably gonna uh, start using a pocket camera after this trip. So yeah, gonna go grab burgers. Heather and I have just found a Brazilian street food place because the burger place we were gonna go to was takeaway only. This place also does burgers, but I'm much more keen on Brazilian food. So it, it just says dinner here, but it has fried cassava, which sounds pretty nice. Oops, called pit dog. Wow. Heather, what did I get? Dinner. It, it, it is called dinner. <laughs> Heather's burger is one of the most insane burgers I've ever seen. This is a pineapple right here. There's crispy bits in there. There's burgery bits. This is, how do you fit? I want to see you fit that in your mouth, actually. Brigadero. <laughs> and uh, this is a Nutella and uh, Oreo cake in a cup. Brazilian street food. What are we doing, Heather? We're going to a bookshop. A very pretty bookshop. Is that what you, 
You've booked us in for... Booked us in for a bookshop. Let's go. So this is the queue to go into this bookstore. Heather did a lot of research. Usually I do the research. This is all people who have already paid and are just queuing up for their 10 a.m. entrance, so. Oh boy, time to get to the back of the queue. Can you read the Petit Prince, but in French? I'd like to. So Heather, what's your review of the bookshop? Very beautiful, but very busy. Um, yeah, very, it's, very busy. it's quite busy, but I'd say my favorite part is stained glass window. But I don't know what to call a window on the ceiling. I bet one of my viewers is smarter than me. So next up on our experience in Porto, we've decided to get some pastel de nozes. Um, Heather is a bit obsessed with pastel de nozes. Like my thing was girl bubble, Heather's thing with pastel de nozes. So this place specializes in them. Look at that, wow. And uh, these are not London prices because this entire smorgasbord for two people, 10.95. Wow, wow, all right. Significantly better than the one we had a lot of. <laughs> What'd you find, Heather? Some sardines that have been sardines for a long time. Oh, uh, 2008, that was a good year for sardines. Wow. Maybe we should get some, oh, wow, they've got a, a Ferris wheel of, of sardines. Useful. You can get Sintra themed sardines. What, what year would you like for sardines, Heather? Maybe bring back the birth year of your family, of your dad or something. <laughs> what does the graffiti say? More homes. Uh huh. Less forests. Oh no. Less or rather fewer rich people. Ah. There it is. More homes, fewer rich. So if you put like a big fence around that fountain to keep it safe, would you call it a fountain pen? No? No? <laughs> Where have you taken us? Um, to the Bishop Pleasants. Who, who's the Bishop? Well, I mean, he lives here, so that's quite nice. Do you remember the one thing that about the uh, tile people in Madeira? The one thing that the artist could never get right? Was it people's faces? It was people's faces. Look at this guy up here. Look at him. <laughs> Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time Morning, evening and midnight Such a wonderful delight Forgo Give up everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was Do you repent? The this cathedral was pretty amazing. Yeah. Um, the palace was interesting, uh, but it was just very grand, uh, whereas there was some great views from the cathedral. I agree. All right, so, so I guess if you're in Porto, thumbs up. I think it cost eight euros each person. You could spend an extra couple euros and get a glass of port, but uh, Heather didn't want to drink port this, this early morning, so. Uh, What the hell, Portugal? Red phone booths are our thing. Don't steal our thing. Get your own thing. Go away. And stop for more pastel de nazis. These are the best ones I've had. And I've had a pastel de balem. We got some empanadas. Thank you. It's like pasties, but for Spanish and Portuguese goods. They were all bad. Ah, oh, what a lovely park. That is meant to represent Portugal joining the EU. One cool thing about this Selena hostel that had an Irish day is they provide you with a free welcome drink. So you just sign up and they give you a free drink. We had a chat with other people. Yeah. So other people that joined today got to chat with us. All of them were part of very coincidental. They just, uh, they're part of a video editing app 
not realizing that's what I do as well for a living. Next up on our trip, we went to Cafe Santiago, which is well known by Porto natives for having the best, most traditional francesinha in all of Porto. Every city has its own signature dish, and Porto's is the francesinha, which means little French woman, because it's Porto's take on the croque monsieur. Perfect for a hangover meal, the francesinha is toasted bread with layers of roast steak, wet cured ham, Portuguese sausage, chipolata, melted cheese, and covered in a beer and tomato gravy. Wow. And ours also had an egg on top. Now, apologies for the weird audio upcoming, but I do actually rate the francesinha. It was really, really good, but boy, do I want to lay down after having it. It's better than the empanadas. I feel really bad. After I got that shot, the empanadas were about to leave, and the guy went... You post online? Is that just for personal or are you gonna post it? I wanna follow you. I was like, it's just personal. Well, it's been a really great first couple of days in Porto, really enjoying our stay. Uh, and I'm going to be splitting this video up into two vids just because there's a lot of stuff going on. I'm hoping to have a lot of really tasty food in Porto. I guess I think Heather and I are really drawn to Portuguese places recently. We've been to Madeira, been to Porto. We went, but was that it? Is this two places? Well, we nearly went to Lisbon. The food here is really nice, though. I would recommend umomum come masa, as they say. A man eats apple. Umomum come umamasa. A man eats an apple. See, I, I'm doing my very basics so I can say a man eats an apple. People on the street, very important information. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we're going to be spending the next couple days yet again just exploring, maybe going to some parks and some bridges, seeing what there is to see. Um, so hopefully I'll see you then. Thanks for sticking on by, and I'll see you on the next one. And I've come out here to say